Okay, half life. The half life of a quantity subject to exponential decay is the time required for the quantity, the mass or number of atoms or activity to decay to half of its initial value. What does this mean? Let's say you have a radioactive sample. Okay, let's say this is a piece of rock and this rock emits radioactive emissions. There are a few ways, eh? there are a few ways to uh, measure to measure this uh, radioactivity, okay? Or the radioactive substance, okay? We can measure the mass, okay? We can measure the mass. Let's say this is sodium, eh? let's say this is sodium Na, okay? So initially the sodium, let's say, is uh, 20, 20 gram, okay? 20 gram. Or we can measure uh, the number of atoms, the number of atoms Na, okay? And let's say the number of atoms, uh, let's say is uh, 5 times 10 to the power of 23. Or we can measure the number of activity. Number of activity means how many emissions in one minute. The activity, okay, let's say it emits uh, 200 emissions per minute. Okay, the activity is 200 emissions per minute. So that, there's a few ways uh, to measure the quantities of uh, this uh, radioactive substance. Now let's say after eight hours, okay, after eight hours, okay, the mass, the mass become 10 gram, half of it, or uh, the number of atoms. The number of atoms means the, means the number of atoms of sodium, eh? okay? After the decay, maybe it become another, another atoms already, yeah? okay? So let's say the number of atoms become 2.5 times 10 to the power of 23 or uh, the number of activity become uh, 100 per minute. So this is after 8 hours. Huh? Now what happens uh, for another 8 hours? After another 8 hours, uh, what happens to the mass? Okay. Now you see uh, from 20 gram it become 10 gram, right? Okay. So this eight hours, okay. After another eight hours, uh, some student may think, okay, it will lose another 10 gram, then it becomes zero. But this is not the case, uh, okay. After another eight hours, this 10 gram will reduce uh, half, become half. So it will become five gram, okay, five gram. And the uh, uh, number of atoms will become uh, 1.25, okay, times 10 to the power of 23. And the activity will become 50 per minute. So from here we can see that uh, for the same periods of times, eight hours, okay, so the quantity of this radioactive substance will reduce to become half. The mass become half, the number of atoms become half, and the activity become half. Okay? And for the same periods, another eight hours, it become half again. 10 become 5, 2.5 become 1.25, 100 become 50. That's what happening during radioactive decay, yeah, okay? So for same periods of times, it will reduce to become half of the initial amount, okay? And these periods of times, for this to reduce to become half, this time is called the half-life. This one is called the half-life and it's labeled, it's denoted by the symbol T1 over two, okay? So that is what does it mean by half-life. Huh? The time taken for the uh, quantities of the radioactive substance to decays uh, to become half of the initial amount. If we plot the amount, either the mass or uh, the number of atoms or number of activity, yeah, okay, and uh, we're going to get a curve like this, okay, for this first half life, uh, so initially is n naught, okay, n naught. After uh, the first half life, then it become half, n naught divided by two, okay, become half, okay. Now another half-life, another half-life, then it will divide by two again. And not divided by two, and divided by two again, okay. Then it will become a, uh, and not over four, eh? okay, and not over four. And another half-life, then it will become and not over eight. Eh? So this divided, divided by two, you get this, this divided by two, you get this, and this divided by two, you get this. So uh, another half-life, then you are, you are gonna get and not over 16, right? Okay, so you're gonna get a curve like this. So make sure that you understand this uh, because sometimes they may give you 
uh, a curve like this and they may, they may ask questions based on the curve. Eh? Okay. Now let's see example one. A radioisotope has half-life half life of 8 hours. Initially, there were uh, 3.6 times 10 to the power of 18 radioisotope atoms in the sample. How much time is taken for the number of atoms of the radioisotope to fall to 4.5 times 10 to the power of 17? Okay, there is an equation uh, for the calculations. Okay, there's an equation for the calculations. But um, in SBM, we do not use that equations. Okay, because we found that... Uh, by using common sense is easier. That equation is for us to calculate the time, which is more complicated. So again, more complicated, like the half-life is eight hours, then they may ask you what, what's the amount in 10 hours. Uh, then we need that equations for the calculation. But if they ask you what's the amount for eight hours, 16 hours, 24 hours, and the multiples of this, then, uh, then we don't need to use that equations. So some books may give you the equation, so you can ignore it. You can ignore it. Just use your common sense, eh? okay, to solve the problems. So you see, initially it's three point six times ten to the power of eight, right? Okay. So uh, let's write here three point six times ten to the power of so the eighteen. Eh? So after one half life, after eight hours, so what's the amount of the atoms remain in the sample? So three point six will become one point eight, right? Okay, just half of it. 1.8 eh, times 10 to the power of 18. Okay, now another half-life. So it will become 0 0.9, right? 0 0.9. Eh? 0 0.9 times 10 to the power of 18. Or 9 times 10 to the power of 17. Okay. Another half-life. 8 hours. So it will become what? The 9 will become... 4.5, that's correct. 4.5 times 10 to the power of uh, 17. Again, now that's what we want, okay, right? So how much time it take? 8 hours, 8 hours, 8 hours. Okay, it's 24 hours, right? It's 24 hours. Huh? So how much time is taken? So the time taken is 3 times 8 hours equal to 24 hours. That's what, what I call, we use common sense uh, to solve the problem. You don't need to use any equations. Uh, and uh, in, if this comes out in the structure questions, then you show this working. You show this working. It take three half-life, uh, three half-life uh, from 3.6 times 10 to the power of 18 atoms to 4.5 times 10 to the power of 17.